Hey guys, Zambi here, and welcome back to another Lost Saga video. And in this video, I'm just basically going to be talking about the winds of change, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, stuff in that nature. So let's let's start with the enchantment system, because there is a great improvement with that thing. And what I'm talking about is this thing right here, the Dimension Reinforcer Tool, which is the new thing. Uh, let me open that again. The new thing you use instead of the gear boosting tool, which I still have 11 of those, which will never be used because they are horrible. Um, but the gear, or, uh, what's it called? Dimension? Yeah, Dimension Reinforcer tool is amazing. <laughs> Look at that edge. Um, basically, you, you use it and you use fragments and, um, and you pick the gear you want and it'll enchant it, except it, unlike the gear boosting tool, you will not lose levels if it fails. Instead of losing levels, you will gain failure EXP. What's that name? Uh, but yeah, you'll gain failure EXP, which will uh, accumulate over time if you keep failing to a higher level. And once your failure EXP reaches 100%, which it doesn't have to reach 100%, um, but once it reaches 100%, you will not fail uh, in enchanting. But my failure EXP has been at 8% and 4%. You heard me, right? 8% and 4% and the enchantment worked. It, it went up. Now, you would not have that kind of luck with the gear boosting tool, I'm sorry to say. This enchantment system is far superior. And the only downside is it's tougher now. It's tougher to get um, fragments now because the gear and tram system is so OP. But uh, you still can do it if you do a fire temple and complete it before 10:30. I think that's the best way to get fragments. And sure. Ah, oh, shit. But uh, yeah, the gear and tram system is amazing. A vast improvement from the last. Uh, last one, my gear boosting tool, which sucked ass. Well, in OVP it didn't suck ass because you didn't have a chance of losing, um, of losing your levels. I mean, you could go from plus 20 down to plus 10 if you really are that lucky. Or, I mean, not lucky, or really are that unlucky. Um, and that's basically that. Another one of the good things this update added in was the nerf system to um, input characters, right? It made it so, let's see if I can swap to an input character right now. As you can see, it has a limit of 15 to it, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy's skill to kill this guy. But yeah, it has a limit of 15 to it, um, and that's completely awesome because now people, now, uh, people who use input characters, they cannot infinite you no matter what they do. Uh, they can still do their inputs and, you know, edge you with them, like if I already knocked you down near the edge, he'll, or uh, no, if a character knocks you down to the edge, he'll swap over to Iori and uh, edge you, but that's respectable. I mean, I'm okay with that. It's just an edging character like any other. But when, but in the old system, they would knock you down like in the middle of Colosseum and take you all the way to the right and then do their little um, uh, grab, pull you over and make you keep going left until you reach the end of that. And then, you know, repeated the process, which made it an infinite. But now they can't do that for two reasons. They have 15 limit input, plus they nerf the, um, the grab. You can't grab somebody in unison when they're down. Um, yeah, you can only do it when they're standing up, so now it's basically just a guard break. That's all it is. Um, so yeah, a very, very nice nerfs on input characters. Uh, that makes it so input characters aren't a big deal anymore. <coughs> Basically, they ungeneric, a generic character, generic character type, which was input characters, which is awesome. But there are still some people that they avoided. Like they avoided 
nerfing Powered Mage um, and Scotty. Although they, people say they nerfed Scotty, it must have not been a big, a big nerf because I haven't noticed anything different. Maybe he's a little bit slower, but that's that's not really gonna change anything. It's just. He's still gonna be used, and people are still gonna spam it. I mean, even if it is slower, but if I I put myself in their shoes, even if I was slower, I would still abuse it. Th that wouldn't change. That wouldn't change my opinion of using the character. It would just make it so you could maybe have an easier time of hitting him a tiny bit, which, like I said, is barely noticeable. Uh, I'm gonna rescue my teammate over here. I said, let me rescue my teammate over here. Oh good, that didn't even hit me. I only hit him. That could have been bad. Ooh, that distance. I did not know I throw wheels that far. That's kind of awesome. I guess, like I said, that it is the new towel helm, except without the faint. Um... Let's see, what else did the Winter Change? Oh, the Winter Change also added in the pet system, which is amazing. I mean, look at the cute puppy. Look at him in his teacup. Hmm? How can you not be... How can I not look cute to you, hmm? So, ador ador so adorable. And what this bad sucker does is... I can go into my pet system real quick. Yes, he gives me four attack. Right now, that's all he gives me. Which you might be saying for attack, well, as is, uh, it's not too good. It's, in fact, that's kind of shitty. I mean, this they uh, they nerfed the stat system for it. I think gonna do much, much of shit. Uh, let me kill this guy real quick. He thinks he's won, but uh, he's sadly mistaken. Ah, he forgot my holes were there. Um. Holy shit! That guy just pulled a clutch. Oh man. Man, I feel kind of iffy right about now. Um. What was I talking about? Oh, the pet system. Right. Um. So yeah, it will uh, basically think of pets like a metal that goes on all your characters. Like if you look at my thing right now, he has four attack. You look at my Devil Ranger, he has twenty because I've statted on him. Six, five, trying to find another character with four. It's not the only a trap he has. You. Trying to get into the battle here. Sorry for all the. I don't need fireball. No... Oh fuck yeah! I do. No, I don't. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, basically, if you get two of the same pet and you level them up to three, is the max level I think, and it, it'll allow you, it'll allow you to fuse them. Uh, and then they become stronger, and the max I think you can get is around 12 or 16 uh, to all stats. Well, not all stats, to uh, whatever stat of your choice. So, the max. Uh, oh, and once you level them up, to, or no, no, once you uh, evolve them by combining them, they will change appearance. Uh, like, the dog will get like a rock star headband and other things, and they'll like grow up and whatnot. Um, I'm getting into the battle here. Ah, oh, that is a major dirt. Um, 
I'm trying to win this shit. <sighs> trying to talk at the same time, which believe you me is not an easy task to do. It's really not. Damn this something. Well he's running away, so let's let him run away. Well maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, let's let him run away and I failed. That's great. Uh another thing that's happened that there, here's a bad thing that's happened. But I consider it a good thing. Because I actually have skill in this game. I mean quick nudge nudge. That's directed toward all you people that depend on skills. Um they nerf. Well, no, 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 no. They start, they're saying that it's it's a bug for some skills to load slower. Um, and I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not. But they're saying that it is confirmed. And uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take their word on it. Uh, I thought that might have been loaded. But yeah, stats got nerfed, so as you can see, uh, as you can see in my horn, well you wouldn't be able to tell, but I can tell that it's a lot slower than what it used to be. Um, and skills like Gladiator Poke or um, Special Forces Weapon Skill, Medic Weapon Skill, there's, th there's three weapon skills that are like the fastest weapon skills in the game right there, Gladiator Poke, Medic Weapon Skill, and Special Forces Weapon Skill. Uh, of course you have to add in the mages as well, because they have fast weapon skill. Um. Oh, and I just won the game for us. Uh, but all those skills um, are slower now. So that's a good thing, because the way I used to play Lost Saga, and still kind of do, is uh, I know when your skill is going to be loaded. Like, I've played the game so often, for so long, that I'm like, oh, this guy has horn loaded, so I better make sure that my horn's loaded, and so I'll be able to counter him when he does it. Or this guy has drain loaded, so I'm going to need uh, escape gear loaded to, you know, escape that if he happens to knock me down and try to drain me. Um... And that's how I usually fight. I'm I'm not even considering your melee skills, because no offense, but I'm pretty good at melee. Okay. Normally, I'm just theorying when you're going to use a skill. Uh, I wouldn't call it theorying. Predicting is what I'd call it, actually. Uh, and that's how I fight. And I'm, that's why I'm glad they nerfed the, the stat system, because I can actually go into the battle and not worry about your skills until, like, mid-game. Uh... And, yeah, yeah, one of the things they added in that I like, but I wish, I wish it worked differently, I don't know if it's broken or not, or if it's meant to be this way, but the first day they, um, updated the game and I logged in, there was this thing called daily mode, and I went into it, and it basically sends you into a random prisoner room that the game itself generates, uh, and it matches you to your skill rank, because you know I'm a skill faker, so it'll match with my skill rank. But then they updated the game the next week, and it lets me go into any room in daily mode, even with admirals. I tested this on a cadet skill level character, right? And he was able to go face an admiral first room that I went into in daily mode. Because this guy said that the, that the first room you go into, it'll, it'll take into account your skill level. But, uh... Oh, hey, his name's Little Green. Team Four Star for the win. <laughs> oh, he's a fellow Team Four Star guy. I just noticed his name, Little Green. That's awesome. Oh, man. Plus half my team sits back. Oh, you kind of you kind of spoil the mood, dude. But that's okay because I'm at a fellow team four star level, and his name's Little Green. That's awesome. Come on now. Oh, dude, you rock. You gotta know you rock. Um, but uh, let's see. What else have I not talked about? that the update brought in. 
Uh, I think I covered everything. Um, oh no, no, one of the things I didn't cover. Okay, this is pretty cool as well. Um, because we merged our client, basically upgraded it. It um, it unnerfed our quests. So like, uh, if I stop mid combat here and show you um, this quest right here. Uh, probably not that one. That's probably not a good example. If I go back in time and go to this one? No. This one? Aha. See, here you're supposed to get a perm hero scroll, which we did not get. Because, um, because I already completed the quest and it unnerfed the quest's items, but I already received the previous item. So this perm hero scroll right here just, I don't get it. Sadly. So they have the unnerved quests, so future quests that I complete will have different rewards. Um, and that's kind of cool, depending on if they're better or not, you know? Believe it, suck. Damn it, you ate my sickle. I wanted to do that on this guy over here. Um, stay away, stay away. Stay away. No, 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 no. Whew. Oh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Well, shit. Uh, I think I've covered everything. They, they changed this a little bit because they had it in this popular section where people, where you can like see what people are buying so you can understand what's good and what's, what to avoid, I guess. Uh, but I think that's about it. Oh, they changed the Cobra Shop, which is pretty cool, but you can only buy one egg, which I think is pretty dumb. Uh, when you see eggs, you're like, you expect to be able to buy more than one. And you're able to buy more than one of these shard things, I think, but I'm not quite sure yet, because they change it. It says one now. I'll have to test that out sooner or later. But, uh, besides that... I've kind of covered everything. I like the quest that they changed the quest back. Um, or they didn't. They didn't do it on purpose. Obviously, it came with the uh, the upgrade or client upgrade. Um, so I don't think they're gonna be changing them back to the unnerfed version though. So that's probably gonna be staying here forever or for quite some time until they notice it, I guess. All right, you think you're the shit, diggity bomb dog, eh? Oh, I gotta show this guy that he's not the shit diggity dog dog. Get the fuck off my terrain, fool. EG is so good. You better believe it. Anyways, I'm gonna be ending off this video here. Those are my thoughts on the new upgrade. It's good, but they missed a few heroes like Scotty and Card Mage that they definitely should have nerfed for our version. Um, maybe they will be nerfed at a later time. Or maybe they won't. Anyway, uh, be sure to give this video a like if you like it, or a dislike. But if you do give it, give it a dislike, go ahead and tell me what you don't like about the video so I can improve. Maybe I can say, um, less. I noticed I said, um, a lot there in this video. Uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, be sure to give it a like, so maybe hit that subscribe button. I'll be releasing videos for Lost Saga every week, along with maybe some bonus videos from other games. Uh, move your ass. Uh, so yeah, uh, peace.